Hi and welcome to another video. I'm your host Mamat Azam and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can add sprites and background to your iPhone application using Cocos. If you haven't checked out the first part then I highly recommend that you do so because the second part which is this part is based on the first part. Uh, so if I run my app right now um, it's just going to display hello world which is kind of like the basic template of your Cocos 2D application. Okay, so when you create a Cocos 2D uh, application or a project and you run it, this is what you're going to get. All right. So let's go over and uh, add the background. Now I have already added a background over here. You can see a small image and I have a smiley face, which is a sprite that we are going to use. Uh, so let's get started with that. Okay, so the first thing is adding the background. So I'm going, to, I'm going to make a CC uh, sprite and I'm just going to call it uh, background. Okay, and this sprite, sprite with a file. So we need a file name for that particular sprite. So I'm going to use a back, uh, and the background is called background3.png. You can actually name it anything that you want. Now I need to this particular background to the layer. Okay, so I'm just going to say over here layer add child and I'm going to add the background over here okay let's run this now the background has been modified to fit the screen okay so it is for the vertical screen it is not a horizontal screen all right so far you can actually see that the background fills kind of like a corner of the screen the whole screen okay uh, another thing is that hello world is still displaying so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove hello world text from there. Let's run it again, a much better idea. Let me run it. And here we go. So we have now the background which is covering the part of the screen, but our screen is much bigger, so we need a way to fill out the complete the background. So in that case, what you're going to do is you are going to set up a particular anchor of the background, okay? And then CG point. Uh, I'm just going to say that the anchor point is 0, 0, which is the only. And once again, in Cocos, your 0, 0 is bottom left corner. Okay. Let's run it again. And now this time when you run it, see that the background completely fills up your iPhone on the simulator screen. Okay. So now we have the background. It's filling out the screen. And next task is to add the sprite. We're going to add the sprite over here right inside the init method okay and make sure to call this after uh, inside the super init after you have called the super init method you know that everything has been initialized properly so i'm going to in uh, this let's call it smiley it's a smiley face you can actually have anything that you that you want you can do and i'm just going to use a smiley smiley.g and now what i need to do is i need to composition to the particular smiley okay so i'm going to say smiley dot position equal to ccp 100 comma 100 now this is a very bad programming practice to hard code these values okay so i'm saying 100 comma 100 and i'm hard coding these values now think of it as a program if someone has to run this program on an ad okay then it will look weird you have set it set it up to be run as an iPhone or iPad application like an application okay so always use kind of like the core system if you want to display something so we have a seat size and I can say window size okay and then we have CC director uh, shared director okay and then let's have this called win size property So win size is actually going to be the window size. And then if you want to display something, you can always display it in the uh, in center, providing the height and the width. So win size dot height dot divided by two. Here we go. So now we have set up the position. Uh, one other thing to do is you have to add it. So I'm just going to say cell and add and in this case, our child. 
uh, smiley. I build this so that everything is okay. Now if you run this, let's run it. So you can see that the, the, the child has it, but it doesn't really appear on the screen. And now the problem is, if you remember thing in Coco Studio is actually layers. So you have to push one back and you have to push one layer forward. So what we're going to do is we are going to the background backwards so that everything other that's on the screen comes forward. And here we go. So we have our smiley on the screen because now it's on the layer that it's from the background. And that's pretty much it. Now, many people have asked me, how do you create the background? How do you create the smiley? I don't really care. You can any program that you like. You can use Illustrator. You can use Photoshop. You can use Paintbrush if you or Paint.net or anything that you're fishing with. You can just use it to create these graphics. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. And this tutorial, we learn that the background for our Code to Code 2D game, and also uh, how to add a sprite to our uh, game on our main page. If you get time, I would highly recommend you visit the website uh, High on Coding. Okay, and you will find different articles uh, about iPhone programming if you just want. Uh, talk about iPhone programming, which most probably you will, go, you will do. You can always go to iosdevblog.com. This is my uh, WordPress blog, only dedicated to iPhone programming. Okay, and uh, if you like this video and want to see me, I would suggest that. And if you have kids, I would highly suggest go and uh, buy my app. Okay, the app is ABC Pop. And basically, we will will be building kind of sim app in this tutorial, so it's a better idea to buy this app. Okay, so uh, to iPhone or App Store and search for this and buy ABC Pop to support uh, these screencasts. Thank you very much, and I hope you like this video tutorial. Thank you.